It's going to be weird not having control. I usually have <laughs> control. And we're live. <laughs> yeah. We're live. I hope. Are we live, guys? I mean, we have a little red icon, so that seems good. Yeah. You're, awesome. you're good. You're alive. <laughs> Welcome, <We're> live, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um thanks for waiting we're still waiting on kieran his laptop is misbehaving yeah. <laughs> you just need a quick breather but we've got Alyssa and sarah here Hello. representing lots of americans talking about international bookers <laughs> there's nothing more american we're taking over you know? <laughs> american imperialism at its finest <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> cool award. We'll be taking that. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I'm really mad that something from our country isn't in this list. Let's get mad. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right. Wait, I did oh wait, that wouldn't make sense. It's not translated. <laughs> oh god. This started so bad. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I'm so glad you were We're live. Like a second ago. Are we live? Oh, hello. We are live. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Good. It's good. It's good. Help, help us. Help us. Yeah. Help ourselves. We're just really upset that American book didn't make it into international booker. I mean, pretty disappointing. It is very disappointing. If you think about the if you think about the translators, though, there are American translators. Oh, and that's so. We can't actually for that, that way. Serious. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, too. Exactly. Let's, I say that. Let's have a look. We have... The, None of the translators are going to be American. <laughs> the uh, the uh, translator of Time Shelter, Angela Rodell, is American. The translator of The Birthday Party, Daniel Levin Becker, American. And Chi Young Kim, who translated Whale, Korean slash American. Go America. Freedom. It's one of the eagle screech to go across. Freedom. <laughs> oh, God. Owen is here. Lads, lads, lads. About time. Yep, we're here. We're here. Rachel, hello. Yeah, things are happening. Okay. We translated English to English, English and it was hard. <laughs> English to English. Yeah, for the American book that's on the list. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Um, what were your guys' thoughts? Let's just dive right in. Yeah. I was, I was I was uninspired. I was not wholly <laughs> shit. You guys, it would be the nastiest experience I have ever encountered online. If Jed were to show up. Who? I don't want to. Edward. Edward. Oh, Jack is, is it Jack Edwards? Oh, okay, okay. What the hell is Jedwards? You're welcome. Isn't Jedward like some weird pop band from like the early? Uh, should be. They are. They are Irish <laughs> twins who got through oh. to Eurovision with two songs. One of them was Waterfall, and it was an absolute <laughs> banger. I think that was back in 2013. It was great. They did like a backflip. Oh, it was amazing. Also, one of the Jed ones, I believe he was Edward, broke his uh he was jumping up on a festival and he broke his leg like there and then. They still carried through because Jed ones are incredible. Out of the U uh the UK <laughs> X Factor, Jed ones have made the most money out of all of them. They also had a BBC C uh C B B C show, which I watched when I was like 16, because so I was like, what's this all about? And uh, it was it was as cringeworthy, kind of cool. Uh, they spoke to beef eaters in the Tower of London. You're welcome. So Kieran is a non-closeted Jedward fan. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with Jedward. I think the whole thing is like a meme gone too far. Like they were. Forget they were, international. No, longer. what about no? What about One Direction? This is the thing. This is the thing. They didn't, and it, that's what blows my mind. I have never even heard of Jedwards. Yeah, Jed, it's Jedward. Jedward. It's, it's like oh, a singular. Jedward. Singular Jedward. 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 Is yeah. our, 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 our arch rival. They <laughs> are being paid money, those twins. 
Wow. Okay. We've really gone off track. <laughs> Sorry. I'll take, I'll, I'll take the blame for starting that. Um, we last <laughs> off off that Karen is very unimpressed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not very impressed either. Yeah, same. I don't know. I, I'm just glad I haven't read any of them. Well, now I've finished Boulder, so that's off the list. But like, I like the challenge. How did you like Boulder? Because I've read it. You've read it. I don't know if you two, I don't know where you guys are in your boxes, but you're you're down here for me. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, you're there for me. Everyone's on stream. Yard, everyone sees it the exact same. You're welcome. Insights of knowledge. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a Zoom call. <laughs> I feel like Richard Osmond from Pointless, the guy who's just like, oh, let me take those information. But equally, I look like the guy from Escape to the Chateau, if you if you know that channel for. No, just me. Don't We're worry about American. That. Anyway, so <laughs> you two down, I, mean, I know who Deadward was, but don't ask why. And then, so you two haven't read it, right? Boulder? Right, yeah. Who we have. What did you think of Boulder? I thought it was a fun read. Mm-hmm. It could work as a palate cleanser if you're not liking the long list. But even at like 90 pages, it was almost too long. Oh, wow. I savored every moment of that. Um, this is only 90 pages, though. It's really short. It. Okay. And well, I really liked it. I savored it. I let it, I stretched that book out because I didn't want it to end. I really loved it. But I don't know if it's, it's, it seemed weird to be on the list. Yeah. I definitely don't think it's it weird. Gonna get short I never had I thought that they just didn't see that on anybody's radar at all. I, there's a lot that I didn't see on yeah. anybody's radar. <laughs> the only one I saw was really was stillborn. Yeah. And we we got one of them right. Um is Love the Dead. Yes. Oh, and time and the time one, because uh Bob had time that. shelter, which I just realized I think I commented on Bob's video and I said that we got that one right, which we didn't, but it was on my list that I brought to our conversation. So I already mixed it up in my head. I, I will happily admit this. I didn't count the books, so we did say it. I just didn't <laughs> mm. so I we only said it twelve from the thirteen, was. but it was I think time I was shelter. supposed to send you the actual list afterwards. And then yeah. I went to look for it in our messages, and that was when I realized I never sent them. <laughs> To oh. be fair, you had spoken Welsh for half hour, so you're allowed. My brain was a little, a little bit, bit. <laughs> a little bit all over the place. Bed together, did you bed together? Can't yeah. again. <laughs> Can't. Can't. I think everybody needs to learn a few a few Welsh phrases just to make Kieran happy. Yeah, there's just like three that I use when he says something in Welsh to me, and I just hope that one of them makes sense. The one that I choose. Yeah, I got one of my favorite moments in London when we met up for Last Booker. It's when we were, it was me, Sarah, Bob, Eric, and Claire. We were all going our separate ways. So Sarah just looked at me and just went, Barod. I was like, yes, <laughs> mate, let's go. Outcome, Danny. Grand. <laughs> What, what did you teach me today? Wampin mar moishen moishen moishen. No, you can't. You can't. You can't say both. A wampin oh, is like um, a, like a, a fatty lad. <laughs> so I say wampin. It's, it's, it's a bad word. Yeah, wampin. Wampin. <laughs> you only taught me bad words. <laughs> or only, or only kept the bad words. He's like. <laughs> Nevertheless, bye. bye. Oh wait, someone's got audio feedback. Yeah, I'm Who's gonna not play. wearing headphones. That might have been me. I'm not wearing headphones. Disgrace, I could be. Okay, hopefully it won't be the audio. Tell us. Do you not have an echo cancellation on? Don't blame me because it's coming through my head. I, I can, I'm monitoring myself. It's my fault. Is it my fault? Can you hear me? I, I can know, hear I'm you fine. fine. Uh, I will say, Karen, when you speak, it is. it does sound weirder. <laughs> I'm a loud boy. What can I say? <laughs> but maybe. Hold up. I think sometimes, though, I get confused is because Karen and mine, like, our name is so similar. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm like, is it and me? I got to hit that here really hard <laughs> when I'm talking to him. <laughs> Oh, 
We always blame Kieran. Yeah, exactly. That's it's probably me because I'm the only one not wearing headphones, but I have echo cancellation on and that usually works. How about this? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. As it gone now, the echo. We don't hear it. I still hear a little bit of it. I'm when I crazy. talk? Guys, this no. is not a <laughs> not high definition production. <laughs> like, let's be real. <laughs> there will be some audio feedback. I, we don't know how to deal with this. None of us are tech professionals. We're not full-time streamers. It's just going to happen. So wait. Oh, there's no echo when Alyssa speaks. Use your echo cancellation. Mm. How do you anyway. do that? What is that? You go into your settings and oh, under audio, you use echo cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have mine on. Look at me. I don't even know where you find this. <laughs> I, 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 I plug. Okay, Emma said it's not crazy annoying. Thanks. Into Thanks the so max. Much. It's not okay. me. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. Let's let's keep it moving. Let's talk about another one in the okay. book. Anyway, so Tony says he has a, an awards spreadsheet yeah that's and I, would, I, I, I would like to know more about that i know that we're talking about books but i how many general can we circle back to that at some point <laughs> let's do it right now we let's go because i would like to know more about this spreadsheet are we tracking all the books we are reading do we have a master list is there like like a bracket like March Madness, where they you get down to the final book. What I normally do is like I just write the page numbers, and then within how many days I want to finish it, or the countdown to the shortlist announcement, and I do the math, and then that's how I try to figure it out. That's what I do. This year I was basically like, which one do I want to read, <laughs> and then it was which one does my library. <laughs> I guess the follow-up is, are you going to read them all? Mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> if I get home, I'm, I'm not this year. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh. for regular Booker, maybe all the shortlist for international, but um, not not all of them this year. There's some big ones, too. Sweet baby, sweet baby Jesus. It's a chocolate peanut butter porter. <laughs> He does. I agree. I, I am a fountain of knowledge. I think I think people don't. They see they see this little little Welsh man with his little metal tops, and they think, "Ooh, his base, his little, <laughs> his little thing." But actually, I know loads about Jedwoods. I know every single lyric of Kesha because I have all the albums and I play them like every single day. I don't care. And I still listen to End Dubs. Feel it. <laughs> so which Booker books, international Booker books, do you really want to read? I know you might read all of them, but which ones are you actually genuinely interested in reading? Okay, so I ordered Whale because, and I messaged Willow straight away. Because <laughs> her video was hilarious to watch. So I messaged Willow after being like, oh, Whale's me the long list. And we've just had bands for pretty much the entire day talking about, like, why? So I'm interested in Whale. There is also... Time Shelter looks good. I've, I've The more I hear about that, the more I'm like... I've, oh. I've started that one. Bob sold was, me on that one, like, weeks ago. But I was is watching, sad, basically, though? the gospel. Uh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to think about Alzheimer's. It makes me sad. Did you I'll, read Burnt Sugar? You know. I thought it was absolutely... I didn't read Burnt Sugar because <gasps> of But Burnt Sugar is so good. Her little, but, her hoo-ha has zero smell. Zero smell. <laughs> one. <laughs> not, not like a pleasant one or a non-pleasant, just none. It is zero odor. Sounds. <laughs> Sounds <bad. laughs> And her mom. But yeah, I was watching the, the Booker of International, uh, sorry, the Gospel of International Booker, uh, Eric's video, when he talked about Time Shelter. It sold me. And then Olga Tarchuk has given an endorsement, which basically says it's in like her special little library, which like in her bathroom? which needs <laughs> you know, to like it's always be free reading and doing my PhD on the romantic legacies of Miltonic Satanism. 
almost on to Karchuk. I feel as though I should probably read it. So that one's been ordered. Uh, and then I Paya absolutely. So yeah, I got for sure. Whoop, that one there. Um, one part woman, which uh, Sheila from uh, Met the Narrator banged on about. Said I should read it. I said in my video, Sheila said to me incorrect. It was a winner of the International Booker Prize of last year, Daisy Rockwell. She sent it to me, you know, just, just casually. <laughs> um, we chat, we laugh, you know, that's what we do. Um, and then Alex always wants to read one because she read the chicken book, was really upset. But she's really interested on the a system so magnificent it is blinding. Which Wait, someone's she read the like, chicken book? She's she read, read the chicken book. book. Went through one evening, she was like, wow. She went, did she like it? She went, huh, funny. She <laughs> it is it. funny. Yeah, you know what? I'm into that. I haven't yeah. even read it, but I'm obsessed with the premise. So Alex, there's not enough chicken. You you feel like mm -hmm. there should be more chicken? No, no, no. One chicken. It's all about chickens. It's no, about chicken. but there isn't enough time. Uh, of there isn't enough chicken time for the one Thank chicken. Choose us. It's one chicken. Oh, can't do all the work. If, I'm if back in this book up. I haven't read, but yes, yeah, so <laughs> I just blind in. <laughs> Uh, the bo both of us, well, I'll probably read it as well. The reason why we both <laughs> bought it is because it's about the, the triplets. Wow. But they go to a cult on Easter Island. And I was like, that sounds absolutely batshit insane. Well, sign me up. Let's go. So That's there's the that. Finding uh, one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, that sounds really complicated. Smid, I want to call it. A smid. Sure. Oh, I have that one. That one my library had. That one just came in. So I do have that one now. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to definitely read Ninth Building. So that's coming on its way by Zhao Zhengji. Because hmm. I'm interested in uh, the Cultural Revolution. And I read Eileen Chang's, oh, what's it called? That's an NYRB, it's a nerd book, which was good. I need to read more, like um, Li Yangshi as well, who talks about that. But yeah, the last Chinese novel shortlist uh long listed was um uh can can uh uh jan can can shan she the um i, I live oh, in the slums yeah can yeah can juge can juge can juge mm -hmm. can juge can juge i, I it took me ages to but... find the pronunciation but yeah, yeah the... can, can juge <laughs> Uh, I live in the subs, and that one broke me. That book, I had no idea what was going on, and I could only clap because I th think I know what was going on. But one person, but then half of the story was told from the perspective of a tree. Wait, what book is this? I love a good book told from the perspective of a tree. No, but this not makes a leaf. zero sense. It, 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 it abs she, yeah, can uh, I live in the slums? She's she doesn't I see herself as a novelist. No, 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 no. She's a philosopher. But she doesn't yeah. write philosophy books. She writes no. books that are philosophical. There's a difference. That apparently. sounds a lot like Sheila Hetty. I don't feel like I would get on with either of those two. Kazuje was one of like the hardest books I've ever read. Like ever. It was it was absolutely in like incomprehensible at times. I didn't know what was going on. No, thank you. So yes, no. so I'd like to read some more Chinese literature. Maybe you'll understand it. Probably not. Because <laughs> all the Chinese works that I've read are re they're really they have like a very different narrative and they have a very different style because they're not really writing from the same tradition. Or maybe ninth building may be different mm -hmm. from what the translator wants to do and how they appear to convey that to an English speaking audience. But yeah, like Soul Mounted by uh, Gao Gao Zhangji, I think his name is the Nobel Laureate Soul Mountain. Pfft, well, I don't know what was going on there. All the different pronouns were different. The, all the all pronouns were characterized as people. Very confusing. Um, so, like his brother would be he walks down the stairs would be like his brother walks down, but it's still the same person. Oh, it was all wild. Yeah, Kan Yeah, Yi Yankee is quite difficult. I got Monkey King downstairs as well. The, and uh, what was the one I showed you as well, Kira? That was uh, Dream of the Red I Chamber. Think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to read that as well. Because I'm, I mean, I'm I read... interested in Chinese. 
I read the Invisibility Cloak, which I forget the author right now, maybe Gay Fay. That was a, I think, fairly straightforward narrative, like more in the tradition of what we're probably used to reading. So maybe Ninth Building will be a bit more similar to that. Oh, sorry, I just need a comment from Charlotte Loshovsky about uh, need to learn more about Chinese Revolution. There's a really good like summary. It's like very brief um, on DW. I'll see if I can find it. But DW did a pretty, I think it was DW, pretty sure. They had a pretty good, um, like, a condensed version of this is what the Cultural Revolution is. A heads up, it wasn't great. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know. Also, to clarify, Slums is not on the list this year. It, that was two years last ago. Last year, yeah. 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 It was two years was it ago. Two right? years? Didn't I read it last year? It was last year? Oh, I didn't read it. No, 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 no. Not last year. It was the not year last before. Year. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I that read it two second. years ago. That'd be two years. Oh, yeah, because I was filming against the wall. The bookshop, Wait, how long know. have you guys been reading International Booker? Two years. Two years ago was our first <laughs> <time>. <laughs> I was like to read in its entirety. But it's a fairly new prize, um, anyway, in comparison. to okay. Which is why I always find like conversations of like, what, I can't believe like, like with last year, it was like, oh, well, an Indian one for the first time. It's like, yeah, because it's only been going for like four years. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> There's like way more countries where people go, Bob, wow, I can't believe, like, like with this year, it's like, uh, oh, this is like the first, like, oh, Bulgarian, uh, bu Bulgarian novel. I'm like, yeah, because there's like way more countries, <laughs> <than> nominations. <laughs> so there's a little bit, there's a little bit like, oh, come on. But I think people could confuse it with like the Booker Booker Prize, and they're like, it's been going for fifty years. How could they not? I'm like, it's a bit. Okay. If you think about it, people. But I thought it, it has been longer than. I think the Booker has been going on for like, a really long time. Book has been going on for fifty-four years. It'll be fifty-four this year. You know what we need? Is how long international? Circle this back to what's important: chickens. Is we need a shirt with just a chicken saying "plaque." Plaque. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yes. three years. That's nice, Tony. Cute. You beat us. I don't. I'm not good at reading whole prize lists because I don't want to read books I don't want to read. It's enough that I have to read books I don't want to read for the booktube prize. Like, it, it, uh, it definitely... <laughs> <laughs> I will say reading a book that you don't want to read under the time strain is it's, an absolute killer. It's hard. It's annoying. <laughs> so doing it in a setting where I'm not actually voting on it is pointless to me. So I will read the books that I'm interested in. No, because you've got to do it for the meme. <laughs> Go do for the it's, meme. It's hard because like some of the books that I, I would have never read, like Burnt Sugar, I wasn't interested in. And that's like one of my favorite books of all time now. <laughs> but like, I know for sure that I would not have picked it up if, because it didn't appeal to me. I also, I see Alzheimer's in a book and I'm like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> so typically like stuff like that, I just lean away from. And uh, also mother daughter stuff. I don't usually read a lot of. Hmm. Um, so like that, and that's like the two main things in the book, <laughs> um, or at least that like the synopsis advertises. And so I was like, not interested. And then I read it and like loved it. So like, it's hard because I think about that sometimes and I'm like, Oh, I should read the whole list. Cause what if I find another one that I love like that? <laughs> um, and yeah, but I'm not going to, <laughs> yeah. all that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in trying any of them. Um, but I'm not, I don't feel compelled to read absolutely every single one to completion because I don't want to read something I don't like. Also, a lot of them are hard to get um, in the, especially really in the U.S. Yeah, two of the books don't come out for, well, Curse well, of Bread isn't out in the U.S. August. And then one of them, yeah, is. Oh, damn. Uh, Jimi Hendrix and Lviv is out in April. The they have the German version speak. at my library. <laughs> so I can just learn German real quick. And read that well, you alongside Welsh. Yeah, so you're good. <laughs> Start a Fischla and do the building. Oh, that's that's an interesting point. I found more books I love through book prizes than I have from book club picks. Same. Yeah, I'd probably go with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. I, I think, think <clears throat> sorry. I was just gonna say I think that's why I even focus on book prizes, is because it especially something like this that's worldwide and you can find just completely new to you authors things from different countries for perspective etc and you wouldn't necessarily find that from your average book club i'm terrified every time adam says something 
<laughs> no, this is a good That's one. A Reading thought. all the nominated books under time pressure is a reason why I read Booth, Glory, and Maps, and I will never forgive the book. Of <laughs> I'm still gonna. I, I, I'm still behind oh. Glory. Ugh. Yeah. Sorry. I'm behind Sorry, it only so I can like kick it away from me. But there is a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to punt it. <laughs> I think Glory was a really decisive book. Was it? I, I think it was crap. I think it was really bad. <laughs> okay. As in, you either love it or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah you love it because I was gonna say <laughs> you're, you're kind of proving her point. <laughs> you're just on the hate it side. It's fine. No, I think we should all forget Booth. Like that I book makes me so mad. Refuse to okay, read also liked Booth. There's <laughs> very few books <laughs> when it comes to Booker Prize where everyone is like collectively like no, a book a it was quite nice for everyone to kind of come together to be no on Booth. I don't think I saw a single positive review. Oh, did you like it? Like, <laughs> you. I already said that. Did you? Yes. Booth. 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 But I reviewed Wait, it before the- What did the, you like about it? The award was Booth announced. Glory, I liked it can't. as removed from like the historical event I, I think is like, I also just like that it didn't, I, I like that a book that's about something but refuses to talk about it. I think that that's like just a great premise for, <laughs> that's something that I just think is really cool in books. What? So yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's like the absence of the thing is so interesting. Like the, the way they refuse to talk about John Wilkes Booth is interesting to me inherently. <clears throat> And like the ways that they'll like touch on it and then like wrap around and then come back to it. Like I thought it was very good, so. <laughs> well, Sarah, after that speech, I'm glad you convinced no one. So that's not really a national booker. So that's okay, that's why I never talk about it. <laughs> because... Wait, but you did convince Pedro to read it. <laughs> oh no, and how oh. did you feel about it? I can't remember, I feel like you called it. Sure. I feel like it's not that hard to convince Pedro to read books though, because we did convince Pedro to read Colleen Hoover, so. <laughs> As Adam says, there's a lot of books that talk about. It's the absence of the Yeah, thing. but it's about I think most them, but it's books not. don't talk about John <laughs> Sarah, are you friends with Karen? You can tell us. Karen Joy Fowler, you know the lady that wrote the book you love? Oh. <laughs> Um, no. I just liked it. I don't think that, to be fair, I don't think it should have been on the Booker Prize. I don't think that that okay. made sense for the book. Like, I, I just, I liked it, but I read it before it was long listed. So, <laughs> Pedro, I'll read anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you at least somewhat liked it. <laughs> if not, sorry. <laughs> Is he not reading Verity? When are you guys all reading Verity? The Verity folks. Gross, why? <laughs> I don't know why that happened. So I don't know. The meme. Yeah. The meme. Why, why we do anything. Why we talk about cake and yeah. her song. I'm really proud and... of myself for that. Can I just say, I'm really proud of myself. For starting the whole cake good. meme? And I, we started the, I started the whole cake meme. I had other people like really confused about like, I, I'm not sure what the reference is. I then have to explain it to people. And then, also, can I, I'm really glad that I'm getting some people to use the word bant. bant. I'm really proud of myself. I start, I'm feeling awkward because I use it sometimes and then I pull it back because I'm like, well, pull it back. no, I can't Cant -a -cant. use it. Hmm? Bants. Can't, can't, can't. Do it 100%. Just just keep going? Okay, maybe one day I'll, I'll embrace my... Go to, my go to, just yeah. go for it. Right International Booker has been going on for 18 years, which is, by the way. Well, well oh. technically, no. Technically, technically no. <laughs> because it was, it, so, it originally it was... was for books for people outside. <laughs> Please of... highlight Adam's comment. Please highlight Adam's comment. <laughs> Call it Fowler, but Fowler. like, foul. <laughs> F-O-U-L. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a chicken book. That's what we need. F no, I'd be F O W L. Ignore me. Anyway, International Book Prize. So it was for it was originally. You were just fourteen years so, wrong. I tell me about it. So you have no and because the international. I am trying to explain this. So the international 
Booker Prize <laughs> was for people outside of this is this is just rude, it's sensitive, <laughs> and I feel attacked. <laughs> um, it was for people outside of the Commonwealth, which is what the Booker Prize was predominantly for, which is why Philip Roth won it, who's American, because the Americans weren't allowed into the Booker Prize, which is why when Paul Beatty, <laughs> when Paul Beatty Fine, won it, it anywhere. was the first year they were back. So that was 2016 when the sellout won. So still, still quite a 2016, while. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I said eight years, take it. Because I know I my said stuff. four years. Yeah, it also <laughs> did I say four? I meant eight. Yeah. yeah, so so the international <laughs> prize was also it started 16 years ago, but it was um biannually, so it was every two two years, which is why it's so a Roth won it. That two years past they crashed the Corai. Two years past, I oh there was someone else crashed the Corai. This is like a quiz for Kieran. I uh, it, it was a Chinese author who won it. But anyway. Anyway. I can't, well, books I can't find any Chinese author. To get back on the on the books themselves. Um to, 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 the, to, reason the reason we're here. The reason we're we're here. The, what uh, I I'm with Kieran on Whale, because I you you guys got my I have never heard of this book before and how much Same. Conf the, how how confused you were on why it was on the list is why I want to read it. Yeah, same. Um, the birthday party sounds good. I, it just sounds like it could be a fun thriller, but I feel like after reading another sort of French mystery that went on for entirely too long, I might hate it. Um, Bob's Out of all the Fitzcarraldos, the birthday party is the only one I'm vaguely interested in. I'm same. not reading Maya unless I'm like, I could do this in the time frame. I'm not reading it. Even found that interesting to me. Everyone keeps saying Pyre at me, so and it's short, so I'm willing to read it. Uh, I can't find Is Mother Dead, but I would read that. And the 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 Chinese one is it number nine? Nine buildings. Ninth nine building. Ninth building. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and everyone keeps talking about stillborn, but really the rest of them I'm not terribly interested in. Stillborn. I only want to read stillborn because everybody. How, almost everybody had it on their list. So why? Why was it on everybody's list? I think it's the top. You got it, Karen. Did you read it, Karen? <clears throat> I I want to read it. I I don't know. I don't know. I think in, in regards to what the I think it'll probably be really interesting. But with books like that, sometimes I'm like, this isn't really like for you. But it's not really for me. Yeah. If it's in regards to like like do women want to have kids or not, there's a bit of me that's like, well, it's not for me, equally I'm a parent, so I think I know where I sit on that fence. Um <laughs> so, so, so like some of those like books that I've read because I tried reading Sheila Hetty's motherhood and I was like, I don't really like okay. I kind of like sh shrug at it. It read to me like the summary reads to me like it could touch a little bit on breast and eggs, and I liked breast and eggs and the things that it discussed. And I, I'm not opposed to more lit in that. Thank you. I'm, I'm, did you actually like it? No, you I probably hated it. it. I haven't oh. read it. I haven't read it. <laughs> uh, but I really yes, just because I really enjoyed uh, Heaven. Seven. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, I've, I've literally just kept the capital aside. I, I really want to, but um, <laughs> but I've ignored it for a year. So. <laughs> those, are kind, oh, but those are the kinds of topics that I like. So it seems like it has the chance for me to enjoy it. It does seem like motherhood is a, one of the more prominent themes within the long list. Motherhood, whether or not to have children. And that's because everybody hates their mother somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, is that the most shocking thing you've ever heard come out of my mouth? <laughs> we have not I talked think so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think so, but I mean, I love no. my mother. <laughs> Lots of people have wonderful relationships with their mothers, but not everybody. Oh, Jessica, <laughs> that's just you. It might just be me. Jessica, don't you also have a weird relationship with your mother? Don't don't hide. <laughs> Fall down. Um, Adam was asking if there's a group read, and just this ask. sounds like a great time to say. 
Which we're reading them all. <laughs> There's a thread for every book. Sticking at everyone in the plaque and say, is anyone reading this? And some will go, yeah. Or some will go, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much how it works. I don't sound like Muppets. Nah. <laughs> it's just a short, like short answer. You just a little blob with it. We or the no. The birthday party. Long, long sentences. So my question for the birthday up, party: up, Have you read Freshwater for Flowers, which is also like a French sort of thrillery mystery, which is well received, and it was ultimately good, but I felt like it went on for terribly too long, and it took too long to get to all the threads of the narrative to come together. Well, this is the scared. panic I have is that the birthday party is described as a um, slow thriller. Oh, like, Whoa. I, like, I feel I like you're going to regret starting it. Maybe I, it'll be a great opportunity for us to try slow living. I trust. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, I trust Fitzcarraldo. though. I think they pick really the interesting books, but they are like really hit or miss. But I, have, like, I think we really need a good. ban on Fitzcarraldo books next year. I mean, obviously yeah, I love them. Think of it. <laughs> I don't think Fitzcarraldo would be too happy with that. I well, mean, there should be a that. limit. A limit, yeah. How many times no, are you going to see three win, blue, blue books on there? Yeah, but, 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 but they've it's won. So boring, won. too. Pick a cover. <laughs> but they, but they get a million extras. artists in the world. The margin is weird. In, in Fitz, they find the margins weird. I think it's also because like British paperbacks are all like that weird they're so size. Stiff and like I, I weird. hate it. Well, they're British. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> all the British are stiff. Whoa, them and their books. Oh, You're Welsh. It's different. As the representation of, of, of Wales? Britain at the moment, <laughs> back off. You can't. You can't even have the same covers as us. You're like, oh, we're American. We gotta be different. No. <gasps> oh. Thank you for thank you for sounding like that. So half of my <laughs> issues with Stephen Copperhead is that when I started the audiobook, it sounds like you doing Cormac well, McCarthy. Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> How am I supposed to take a book seriously when it's just you in my head going Cormac McCarthy? Because <laughs> I do the best American accent because everyone speaks like an America. Facts. Why don't you do the rest of the live in an accent? Okay, do. So the other book that I was interested in is the Rooted Totin Stated Heavy Bath, Arborian Author Gowser. Or Gowser. You know, they should Gowser just get you to do the Demon Copperhead audiobook. Thank you. <laughs> why, did um, they, why did they pay this other guy when you could have done <laughs> I would like to say, if Frank Wynn is watching, Unhappy man, I know I know your at handle. Don't you worry about that, mister. Um uh, remember Franklin was commenting Sarah? Was that great last year? Was anyway, good. um I am is panicked your, about teacher? reading. Who? Oh? Never mind. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of panicked <laughs> about standing heavy because it's a satire. <laughs> and I would like to say, and I want to know if anyone else <laughs> helps about this. Um uh, my problem with satire is that I kind of have to know what on earth is being satirized, because most satire. I think it's I just it was really vague. It was like colonialism. Yeah, I think it's a pretty big concept, like <laughs> capitalism and colonialism, colonialism and yeah. like I don't know poverty. Like I don't think. It's yeah, like... but he's talking about uh, yeah, but he's talking about Cote d'Ivoire in France. So there's def there's definitely some connection there that I'm like really not. I, I understand that they've the, the colonized. But yeah, but I don't know much about French colonialism or what they did in Cote d'Ivoire. So there's definitely going to be an element of, and I'm always happy to admit this, when it comes to reading satires that are international, most of it goes like, I think I know, which is similar to yeah. Willow. Because um, in her video, she mentioned about Whale being like, I don't know if this is satire or not, or if it's like just grossly misogynistic, or to some extent, like grossly offensive. And is that sort yeah. of like, and like, is this like what? At what point? What part of the book is being satirized? I think as like an international readership, I think there has to be some sort of like. I'm not entirely sure what perspective because I don't believe that Gauzy Gauzier is that how you, I don't know how you say it? Let's just go French. I'm not sure. I don't know much about Cote d'Ivoire. Um, I'm sure the French would be insulted. 
Gauze. Um, <laughs> or Gau Gauze? Gauze? Is the Z emphasis? I don't know. But there has to be like an element of like, I'm just not going to understand this book. But that's because part of the fun, most... I think, of reading any translated book. I agree. Because we're not the intended audience. Agree. Hopefully there's a good foreword or something to help you give context. I doubt it. Let me check. What is the guy's, the, the author's name? Gauz. G-A-U-Z. Apostrophe. Like a apostrophe. Where's the apostrophe? After the After Z. After Z. What? And the Z's yeah. capitalized. Yeah. Does that oh, clear things up? No. <laughs> <laughs> that actually does, Sarah. It helps a lot. <laughs> oh, now I get it. it no, <laughs> Google just wants to tell me how to say gauze. Is his name Gauze? <laughs> I, I really don't know. Even Mercy's concerned now. She just cried. I'm sure that they say them out loud in the uh, announcement video, right? I didn't watch it. it. I just looked at the No, website. it just had the, the sound. It was just the box. It's just the box. If it, yeah. if it gets shortlisted, they'll pronounce it. And then, then they give it. <laughs> then then they'll put the work in to figure out how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, surely colonialism as a general concept is fairly ubiquitous depending um, on who I think Sonia who says colonizer. It's about um, people working undocumented in France. So undocumented workers. It's like I always find those kinds of things interesting where maybe culturally or like uh, factually things are very different, but in human experience they're very similar to things that you experience yourself and how there's just parallels like between maybe different cultures or countries or regimes or whatever you're talking about periods in history. And I like those moments. So you maybe you don't need all the context, but you can find context within your own world of undocumented workers or colonialism or whatever. Yeah. I think that makes sense. You don't want to say hi. You want to put your button. Okay. <laughs> but it is interesting that there's three French um, books. But I don't think they're all like French French. Isn't one That's like true. French Caribbean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Which yeah, one yeah. would argue is not French French. And translated yeah. by the author's husband. Mm -hmm. It was the gospel according to the new world. Yeah. That one I'm pretty interested in, actually. I don't think we talked about it. No. no it, it's about a miracle baby rumored to be the child of God. It says the nationality it. for the two, the three French ones. Obviously, you have the Ivorian. But of the book of international would be like a breakdown it says they're both french like french french they haven't put like french caribbean or anything so i don't know if they i if they do identify as just they are french hmm. I, I wouldn't know i guess if uh, they get shortlisted they will be allowed to speak. yeah then we'll know more <laughs> <laughs> well no because you have like so like the translator for uh mother is dead they put british danish they put the oh. the both and similar for Chi Young Kim. They put like Korean American. So I don't think it's like a you have to be this one country. So <laughs> they put Caribbean if they were Caribbean. I would assume. I, That's true. I think I was googling and I saw Caribbean first. I saw a lot of people discussing it very Could specifically be. in like a Caribbean context. The French thriller is going to win. Why do you say that, Emma? For the Why? Because it's 600 pages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can only speak if they're shortlisted. <laughs> Otherwise, shut up. That's when their name gets said out loud. <laughs> oh, they're good, good things for the gospel book. Good praise. Mercy Condi. I, I am... I heard the Marie Con content. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I first read that, I was like, well, what's going on here? I think if I had to choose a winner, if I had to choose a winner, like I've kind of brought the time shelter. So I was like, it sounds weird enough, which is mm -hmm. normally like a, a book of prize winner. There's like something a bit weird. And International it. Booker tends to go more weird, or at least they have like since yeah, we've been following weird. it. So I, I think that's why I'm the not as like excited about this list. I feel like every other list, I'll read multiple synopses and think like, whoa, that's weird. And for this one, it barely happened. And it most happened with Time Shelter. So I, I think I've come to expect that. And I didn't get it, which was sad. Ah. 
Maybe they couldn't spell Guadalupe, so they just said French. <laughs> I do think <laughs> the way that they organize their website is really confusing and not the best for gleaning information. It's not very tech friendly or user friendly. Oh, on the on the day they announce anything, it's I think it just crashes all the time. I feel like in their defense, <laughs> I think it just gets like dogpiled with like That's everyone. True. Um yeah. But what is this is Mother Dead book? Because I know a few people have read it. I know I can't remember, I can't even remember what Eric said about it. It's basically is like Mother Dead is it's about um mother daughter relationship the narrator goes back to her hometown because she's like an artist who makes art that's deeply polarizing about motherhood something like that and then mother and daughter are mad that's all i really know what is the use <laughs> of the international book oh, i still don't know because i don't know any of these books. i i think... Jimi hendrix book what if it's going to be Whale or oh. Jimmy? Uh, I heard. Oh, so, I think Whale uh, is going to be really. Books divisive. and Bow did a video on Whale and they did not. Yeah, Willow. Yeah, yeah. Like, really. Was Willow like definitively or like outright almost mean? Confused. That it said very... it was misogynistic. Okay. Because sometimes Willow is very like kind of bobbish, like democratic, even when they don't like things sometimes. And was Willow like outright? Yeah, and then they did a um, like, uh, what is it? What is the short? A short. It's called a short. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is the short <laughs> video called? Short. <laughs> it's called a short. <laughs> um, they did one of those, and uh, as like a reaction, and like specifically called out Whale as like really didn't like this book. So I'm curious to see what other people, you know. So that's really, I find that really interesting because I do feel like Willow sometimes tries to be a lot more soft mm -hmm. in negative Yeah, books. I did find that surprising. Like they have to really hate the book to like, <laughs> be a little bit harsher. Mm -hmm. But what if the Jimi Hendrix book talks about Jimi Hendrix but never actually talks about Jimi Hendrix? What if it's all about Jimi Hendrix but not about Jimi Hendrix? I'll never know because I can only get the German version of it. <laughs> I'll be reading it and be like, is Kieran it about Jimi Hendrix? I can't tell. If it's not, though, I love it. <laughs> now that Kieran is thinking, like the thinking face that is happening. He's thinking about Jedward. I thought that, that was a given. He's thinking he's about waiting. Jedward. Yeah. He's, he's waiting to drop the Jedward. <laughs> I would be, I'm keen to read Kirkov. I've, I've messaged, I, I said before we went live, uh, Maria, who does work with Razum, which is a charity helped out with um, Ukraine. She's Ukrainian. We've had a lot of talk about um, Ukrainian literature, and I've read quite a bit. <laughs> Not reviewed it, but I've read quite a bit. Um, I think Kirkov is like a really interest. Again, I don't, I don't know what's being put forward for for the price. This this could literally be the only Ukrainian book put forward. So to to say what should be on there, we can't. You can only speculate. Kukov is he's very well known. He's got a good reputation. Um, I definitely think there's a conversation to be had, the fact that he writes in Russian but is Ukrainian. Um I think that's gonna be a huge thing because they they pulled that out on the website. The Guardian article also mentioned it, like but that's getting not, a lot of attention. But I thought oh, where is Kirkov? He might be in the Donbass re region and most of them are Russophones. So mm. that's not it's not completely um, unheard of. And I recently read a book and I would recommend everyone read it. I'll do a review on it. Um, Mondegreen by Rafayenko, uh, which talks about... So, so Rafayenko is equally... He, he's now... Is he a refugee? But basically, he, he's Russophone, so speak, speaks Russian. But since the, uh, the war has decided he needs to start learning Ukrainian. He has, like, the conversational basics down because he is Ukrainian. But now he has to like engage in Kiev, Kiev, sorry, Kiev, um, in Ukrainian about the differences between the language and how Russian yeah. says certain things. So I don't know. I th I it depends what Kirkov is talking about. It's clearly not going to be about Jimi Hendrix live in Lviv. 
It's not going to be about that. <laughs> that I hope not. <laughs> or, it, or it will be a almost um, like a reflection of, I think it's set during the war, this book, or it is at like the precipice oh, of the war. There's also so magical realism. Mm. That's kind of standard in, that's kind of standard in Kirkhoff, so it's not. Oh, okay. That, it's like his little thing, but don't think Rushdie. Don't think hmm. Rushdie. <laughs> um, you know what's funny to me? For I just want to hold this like Adam for a second. So what's funny to me? <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> is that when you said magical realism, you would go straight to Rushdie, and that's not where I go when you say magical realism. My brain immediately pops to Marques. Yeah, but I, it, I go to Rushdie it's just, as well. It's so funny that like I just you're such a Rushdie like. Oh, yeah. I don't care. But I know everyone knows Rushdie, and I don't know how if everyone's read. Uh, how does Bay nobody? Bay what do you mean? Everybody doesn't know. Marquez. Really? Well, I don't think I don't think many people have read Marquez. I think Equally a lot of people it. have read a thousand years of or whatever. I think they know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, I think a lot of people know Love in a Time of Cholera. <laughs> people. I think a lot of people know Love in a Time of Cholera. That is, I think, how people know him. In the, like, but I, I would context. I would equally argue this isn't the time for do this. But I would <laughs> argue that Latin American Latin American real magic realism is very different from other forms of re magic realism across the globe. I want to know very... why people are so like opposed to magical realism. I think because they see it as a form of fantasy. I feel like they feel like it's not. Um, it doesn't go as far as fantasy, so they're expecting fantasy and they're, they're expecting like the full commitment of a fantasy realm as opposed to having a regular world with magical elements that are just accepted within the world. So there isn't a need for world building because it is it is part of the world. It's built into the whole concept of the world. So you don't need to spend all this time info dumping and creating it because it just exists. Like if I just happen to be able to, I don't know, live for 300 years, I live for 300 years and I, you don't need to know why. I don't need to spend all this time making a backstory. It's just part like, of the Isn't that world, awesome? Period. Like that to me is awesome. I like it, but not yeah, everybody wants that. that. People, some I people think, really want that building up of, of the story. I think there's expectations for both sides. I think you have the literary, I'm going to make like gross, like, uh, what's it called? Generalizations. Generalizations, thank you. Uh, I think you have the literary fiction people, like straight fiction, who look at it and go, that's too much fantasy, this doesn't make sense. But equally, you'll have the fantasy people who go, there's well, this is a bit too, there's not enough of that. But equally, a lot of magical realism or a lot of magical realism I, I read, I'm not too clued up on Latin America. So forgive me if they do. But it's, it's very historical fiction-esque. There's almost a, like, this is a moment in time, and now we're going to implement magic to discuss that and provide a new perspective on it. So if you're not interested, which is what I think why a lot of people struggle with, say, Midnight's Children, that's like a go-to is... I don't know anything about India on partition. I don't know why any of this is happening. Or a lot of like the nods the Rushdie gives that Desis would know during that time that say some Desis today would look at it and be like, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, why is this significant? And I think there's a lot of, again, you kind of have to know quite a bit. And I think similar to like the Latin American magic realism um, that I have read, there's almost like, I don't really know what's being discussed here. Similar to like the satire. It's like, I don't know what's, like, why certain things are happening. But then that's, I am a Rushdie fan. Thank you for, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have known. Never. You've never keep, once spoken about Rushdie. I like to keep a secret secret, you know. I don't like, I don't like talking much. So, <laughs> but I think, yeah, I, I think, I think that's the problem with magic realism. But I, I, I think Kirkov's very, this book might be different, but it's very, like, light on the magic realism. It's like, mm. one aspect will just happen and you go, oh, okay. It's a bit weird. <laughs> but a lot of, um, a lot of Eastern Europeans almost use uh, magic realism-esque. The ones that I've read, there's almost, like, something doesn't seem quite right. But maybe that's maybe that's fantastic literature. And then that's a whole other debate. Like, it's, oh, yeah, oh, let's not let's not get into that. I say, why is it Horodorov? <laughs> I think it's Horodorov who started arguing. This oh, is an international debate. booker. We don't talk about genre fiction. Okay. <laughs> 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 but I, I think I think Jimi Hendrix and Lviv. I will I will read it. 
I don't think it's going to be great. I'm not, again, I'm not a big Kirkall fan. I don't think he's mostly okay. So I'll read it because there's got to be something that's made the um, judges put it on the list. Mm-hmm. But is it just because it's a Ukrainian book? I'm not. In, it could just be that. I fear as, as that it's that. Sense. I fear I that it's, so. it's put on there because it's topically like significant in like the global world. Um, the global world. That's good job, Alyssa. English is my first language. Um, <laughs> but maybe I hope I'm wrong. But I fear that it's really only there, kind of as a throwaway. To be like, we've given this nod to Ukraine. Yeah. I'm on the same boat. Yeah. But what, I would like to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what it depends. I, I'm trying to think of, because I know I mentioned Mom Degree, which like, but I don't even know if that was eligible. I don't know if it's published, if it was published last year, something like Sergei Jadan. Well, which I used, might have like, been the Sergei. only thing that could have Yeah, it might be. It. And so that's why it's here. And it's, hmm. a, you know. I think it's a safe choice. I think people will like Kirkov. I think he's very digestible. I think he's very straight in regards to how to discuss the thing. <laughs> There's so much booth hate <laughs> going on. Oh, no. Because it's terrible. What does gash mean? Oh, a fanny. Oh. But not a bum. Like front, front fanny, bum. not back fanny. I, I got it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> like a gap. Oh, okay. Very literal. Because it started from here. <laughs> but, like, why do we have to use fannies to make things not nice? I feel like people seem to like fannies. So, why do you use it derogatorily? <laughs> also, fannies, fannies give birth. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> oh, there's more to your personality than that. It's rough. It was rough. Yeah, I didn't lose this, this year. <laughs> um, what else? What are other books that are calling to you? You know what we're not talking about though is while we were dreaming. No, we're not talking it's about. Just, I forgot what it's about. Not reading really <laughs> I don't think that anybody cares about it. That's if I if I, really. if I finish all twelve, and there's time. I will probably read it, but I I tried I tried Maya's last book, Brooks and Mortar, and I could not break it. What did you like about that? So Brooks and Mortar is is about what is it about? <laughs> the blurb's not really straightforward. It's at the I believe it is at the time where the Berlin Wall is about to be knocked down. I think. Let me just grab it. <laughs> and yeah, I agree with this. We, Booker, we would like compensation so that we as a community can heal. I don't think that any of you ever even suffered through reading it because I, I won't do it. I refuse. And so since everybody has. has basically come after me refusing from the beginning and said how terrible it is. I feel justified in my aversion <laughs> to this book. <laughs> so Bricks and Mortar is about the sex trade in a big city in the former GDR <laughs> just before 1989. I don't think I was born in war. Was it 89? <laughs> my German history is not great. great. Um, um, I think it might have been. Um, 1989. I feel like I was about five or six, yeah. Was 18, yeah, yeah. Come on, Kira, you got this. Um, yeah, about yeah. football hooliganism to large-scale landlord and service provider for prostitutes to a man... That sounds like a he, compelling plot. But the, the, oh, the point of view of this, like the perspective <laughs> moves between houses and walls. So you're oh, kind of God. you're in one room, and then like halfway through the paragraph, you're almost like on the street with a police officer. So it's very disorientating, and you're kind of getting like snippets of everything. But I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite root myself in the perspectives. Um, yeah. Sometimes I think literary fiction 
takes itself a little too seriously and it oh, allows, allows it to hard. like just do things that we shouldn't be doing. Like maybe maybe you can't execute that concept. <laughs> I think in regards to sorry, sorry. I was just gonna say maybe it sounded better in the original language and the translation just thank you. <clears throat> I know what he's doing because he's trying to get an idea of the city and like the collective thought about what's going on. So I get why it's not like he's doing this for no reason. It was just really confusing. Uh, also, yeah, it moves back in time, back and forth in time as well. So when you're like outside the wall on the street, it's like it's two years ago. Heads up. So it feels like you should have picked one. You're either moving sort of. It's really In time or three walls. Yeah. It's like really confusing. But um and it's a fit. I feel like as beautiful as much as like aesthetically I like fits and I I I, I sometimes feel like the weirdest stuff gets published by them that doesn't need to be published in like a thirty dollar book. Thirty dollar book. I struggle with Fitzcarraldo because I feel like it's just such the aesthetic that like it reduces individuality. So I can't get excited as excited about those books as other books. I have such a great business idea. I think we need a Fitz cafe with like the blue mahogany wood, a coffee shop. You get the books, a sea of blue books. And like, why don't they have a business like that? I mean, they should, but I won't be going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's... i go for the gram. Like, it's like people being in, like, one uniform and looking at them and being like, okay, which person do you want your friend to be? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know anything about these people. They all look the same. Like, <laughs> like I can't... I, I don't know, like, the, there's no individualism or, like, anything exciting about, like, the process of picking the book. And maybe that's the point to only pick it based on the synopsis. I don't know. But it, it bugs me a little bit. There, there is that kind of esoteric intellectual elitism of, of like, I don't yeah. need a cover. I just need the words. And like, I am a Fitzcarraldo, and therefore you should read me. <laughs> Keeps the costs down, though. Does it? Does it matter? Because it's a thirty dollar. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't keep the cost down for me. Absolutely. There's, only, there's like <laughs> Their five margins people. Are, must be so high. There's like five people who work in Fitzcarraldo. That's it. They might be. I think there's a bit more now because they. I don't think they're eligible for the, the, <laughs> the like, conscious. Like, it's like Tim and Susan. <laughs> yeah, like the person I speak to, <laughs> like she does so much. Like hats off. I could never work as hard as she does. But I think I like I think it's they have to put costs into everything else that yeah we'll just have the blue I think it's like the most genius thing ever. Don't I, think it's very I mean it's clearly working. So like I'm not mad at them. It just makes me personally not want to read the books. Or not excited about it, maybe is the better way to say it. Ooh. But I've I think only... that's that's one of the benefits of then being because you're living in the US, you're able to see what the cover is going to be in America so you don't have to buy the first one. I know sometimes yeah like I'll find a book that I'll have already heard about because but I saw it I saw it at the Fitzcarraldo but like I look at the cover and I'm like oh that looks interesting and I read the back and I'm like wait this sounds familiar mm -hmm. and then I'm like oh it's it's a Fitzcarraldo book but I'm like more interested in it just because it's like grabbed my attention. I 100% agree with us. But after Sappho was not fit, it was someone else. That was Gally Bega. Yeah, Bega Price. Gally Bega have nice books. They have nice books. But again, the when you get them early, look at this bad boys. Are you gonna rub it in that we can't get early fits? Oh, yeah, you can't. No, no, no. Uh, Gally Bega is they're just oh, black. Oh, they're I like black. that. Nice. That's that's Penguin does like a whole black. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't like the fits. I feel as though there's a double standard going on here. That I don't. No, I also don't like that. Person. No, I think it's. Thank just... you, Sarah. Stand your ground. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think Go. it's just that I personally like. I just kind of like that aesthetic better than a whole blue. If I had a whole bookshelf of just black books, I would love it. Yeah, Not I guess all really lined up. That does seem nice. Yeah, but then know. sometimes my worry is that, like, let's say. Okay, now I have these three Fitz books. I have like 
three other ones. So let's say I have a total of six Fitz books and I organize my bookshelf by color. Mm -hmm. If I get more yeah. Fitz books, like I'm going to have too much blue. Yeah. Yeah. It needs its own section or because you just it's own bathroom and, and it's a normal person. So you can find but also them. the same. <laughs> I love a Fitz Geraldo. I'm not afraid to say it. I've only ever purchased uh, two, and I sold one because it was Books of Jacob, and I hated that book. I love the Books of Jacob. It's the best. You could have had that. I, I would have gladly have shipped it back over the pond, but I already sold it. I have two copies of it. Don't worry. They're both Fitzes. So. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Dory. I got yeah, I quite a few Fitzes. I'm glad to see them on there. I think, I, again, I think. Oh, you're fancy. Fitz I think Fitzgeraldo have really interesting choices. I think they. I do agree with that. I think if you're going to have something that's a little bit out there, experimental, I know I could just pick up a Fitzgeraldo, and I I will suffer the consequences if so. Which is why I trust them to what's it called? Um, uh, almost, no, which one is it? Oh, Zambro. Like, well, I'll we'll try Zambro. Zambra. I always say Zambro. What's Zambra. Bonsai. Like Life of Trees. Equally, yeah, like I like the junk mail of literature. The epistolic novel. Ball for the <laughs> Blue. It's told via that. And I'm like, if anyone's going to do it, weirdly enough, they'll make me go, well, okay then. It's probably going to be Fitzcarraldo. Have I read it? No. But. <laughs> I like COVID access. Why was there no Tilted access this year? I feel like they had two or three last year. What was the story? Yeah. There's sorry. no Tilted, tilted access. access. Yeah, they had a lot of Tilted Access last year. They had, they, well, they had. They two, definitely have put forward for the prize. I would be very surprised if they didn't. It'd be very strange. The short didn't. stories that Jeremy Chang translated. The Chinatown? One? Chinatown. Yep. Yeah, a lot of people were speculating that would be on the long list. The white ones are non year, didn't they? Uh, the white Fitzgerald, yeah, sorry, sorry. Because <laughs> I was going to say, sorry, because I, I was going to add on, because I know uh, Eric ahead, had Clements, but that's an advanced copy. They're also all white. So if you see those, oh. they're also white. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering that. When I saw that, I was like, is there nonfiction on this list? Like, what I happened? panicked. I did panic. I was like, I'm oh, not Clements of nonfiction. I can't do this. Yes, advanced <laughs> copies are also white. Because Chew of and... Sand is Tilted Access. Yeah. Yes. And then... I feel like they Tomb have another Jer so, Jeremy yeah. Chang was, uh, the book he translated was... Tomb of Sand, Love in the Big Hallway. Cities, and Happy Story Mostly. Ha yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had three of and them. And Big on. big City. Love in the Big City. Love, mm -hmm. Love in the Big City. Happy Stories Mostly. Tomb of Sand. I'm kind of okay Tilted Axis wasn't there. Uh, oh, nice. fun, fun fact, because people they might not know this. Sand. Tilted Axis is actually the uh, creation from um, the translator of the vegetarian. I don't know her name, but with <laughs> the money that she won from that, I believe she put it in to create her own yeah. That's cool. I like that. I Please think that's one. awesome. Louise, what did you what miss? That? So many Jedwood facts. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Jedwood facts. Um, what else? <laughs> Honestly, you didn't really miss much. We, we, we talked about Booth a lot and the most recently, Deborah we were Smith. Talking... Miranda's got it. Deborah Smith, the translator of Hankan. Mm. Oh, cool. Yeah. That, Thank that's you, it. You learned a new fact. Yeah. That's, mm. that's been everything. Yeah. Um, have there been any that we haven't spoken about that maybe we should? I was just looking. I don't think so. I mean, some of them we talked about like super briefly, but I think we talked about all of them. I feel like I was more interested in last year's picks, honestly. Oh, for yeah. sure. This is kind of... Mm. Oh, Karen, what was that face? I don't know. I. You were equally not interested? Is that what you're saying? I kind of wasn't interested last year. There were a lot of yeah, duds. There were a lot of duds for me. But then equally, you have some like Tuba Sand, which equally I was like, oh, I, I don't think I'm interested in this. And I enjoyed it. I had a lot of duds last year, but I think that I was more excited going into reading them. Like the synopses sounded more interesting going into it. So like uh, definitely how I feel right now versus how I felt last year, right after the long list was announced. I'm less excited this year. 
Well, I felt a lot of enthusiasm last year because it was my first time doing it. <laughs> it's the first time we spoke. Yeah. Was. Look at We're how far things have gone. <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember being like, do it. You could do books of Yaakov. You could do books of Yaakov. <laughs> and I think <clears> that's <throat> the only one I didn't finish. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, International Booker, I'm, I'm never as... Excited, I mean, saying that I, I think Booker Prize can sometimes be a bit like in recent years. Um, there's always duds, there's always like duds. Because I, well, when I was speaking to Willow, I was like, oh, Remember Summer Brother by Yarp Robin? I sometimes read it and do a review on that when literally everyone's like, Murray the myth is a bit like, Same, I don't want to as well. <laughs> but I don't think there's a book, I don't think there's a book here that people are like, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Owen's looking forward to all of the reviews. Nothing can top. Yes. I didn't like the sentences. <laughs> you remember that. I'm so glad you remembered that. <laughs> that is that is a bold statement. It's like it's there's some moments where you're like in the middle of a review and you say something and you're like, is this really what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Does this make sense? Probably. I always like to keep I already said it, in. so I think here we are. absolute rubbish. I love it. I think. <laughs> I, I'll be interested to. I, I did quite a bit of buddy reading with this. I'll see if Brandon's available. He'd probably read one of these. Oh, yeah, because you guys read After the Sun, which we did goes read back After to the Sun. Yeah. There have been some comments about, I'm hoping for no more shrimp this year, whereas Meg says, more shrimp. <laughs> it was wild. After the Sun was wild. Insane. I liked it. I liked. <laughs> parts I don't know of it if I a like lot it. and really hated other parts of it. It was a very weird read. <laughs> the shrimp story was clearly the best. Hence why it was split up into two. But that's not, that's digress. Well, I, I think they should have just made it one, but... You know. I'll be interested. We I think, the I, authors. I think the other thing to remember as well with international is that there's not many people reading them. Because normally with Booker, there's like a lot of hubbub over it. Mm -hmm. International Booker's very slow, but equally, International Booker moves very quick. In fact, we have four weeks until the shortlist. <clears throat> 35 days. 35 days. That, oh. We're not counting. Uh, Instant anxiety. I'm counting. I'm <laughs> counting. Because especially some of these books towards the end, um, what is it? Hold on. We, we haven't mentioned this at all. Uh, A System So Magnificent, While We Were Dreaming, The Birthday Party, all three of those are over 500 pages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know why I'm not anxious? Because I already know I'm not reading them all. Same. Yeah, but, but I'm going to come try. around. One person <laughs> will be like, you should read this. And everyone goes, mm, maybe I should read this. And then it gets shortlisted. People go, yeah, I definitely should read this. Which is basically what happened with me in War of the Poor. I was like, people should read this. And everyone came guns a blazing. And then I got shortlisted. And I was like, oh, this is great. This is an absolute beam. And then people still wanted to like... Just tell me I was completely incorrect. I like, didn't even like it that much. We love to tell you you're wrong, though. So I think that's just part of the whole... Well, the portion of one. Really. Or we could also yeah. just... We don't read the long books. We just check the Goodreads reviews, make our videos, and move on. You know what you do? You, you <laughs> Imagine you read the book by a random paragraph in the middle of the book. And that's, and that's how you... Judge everything. Yeah. Just go blindly flipping through. Stop. Read a paragraph. But I know I'm stubborn. I'll probably say no to the Clemens. I'll start reading and be like, bro, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. And then, because <laughs> I normally work that way, I'll be like, I don't want to read this author. And then I read another book and I go, I get it. But like, Which did that much. happen? Did that happen with War and Peace though? <laughs> War and Peace just, just was, War and Peace was just boring. War and Peace was, I'm really sorry. Like, Tolstoy is just like boring. I have nothing more to say. It looks like Owen will be reading with you, Meg. And so am I. I will not be. I I will be. Yeah, not if Meg's time. doing it, and if Owen's doing it, I'm doing it. I gotta get through these stupid I books. Two prize books. I, will also no. I still have to... what book two prize books do you have left? Is that okay to talk about? <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to, but I I, I don't care. Um, I have the Celeste Ng book that I don't. Oh, our Sacred about. Hearts. Yeah, I don't care about that one, but. That's fine. I'll bang that out in like a car ride. I don't care. And then Rabbit Hutch, and I have to finish yeah. Demon Copperhead. Oh, I just finished or, or Cormac McCarthy. Oh, <laughs> I I liked Demon Copperhead. 
Um, and I, I, I really like the rabbit hedge. I am loathing Stephen Cabaret. I think it's going to really? be really. What aren't you liking about it? It's not my kind of book. It's not. It has nothing to do with the writing. I think the writing's probably fine. I just literally, it's it is not an Alyssa story. But do you like Charles part. Dickens? No. Do you like Donna Tartt's The Goldfinch? Yes. Oh, I wasn't expecting that as an answer. Do yeah, because it reminds me so much of The Goldfinch. See, but it's The Goldfinch, I feel like, was done well. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, if you're watching. Agreed to suggest. disagree. <laughs> uh, I just finished Demon Copperhead another... last night because I was like, oh, I need to be ready for when International Booker starts. Thank you. I, I just think I don't care. To me, it's more like... How if, far are you? I'm like 58, 60% of the way through. Okay. Uh, I'm far enough through that I, sh if, I would have de enough by now if I didn't have to finish it. And yeah. I, I honestly just feel like it reads to me like like catcher in the rye like it just reads to me like a whiny boy and it really irritates me and i understand that it's making commentaries on things like you know opioids and poverty and like foster care and do 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 but i just i don't care i feel like those are more like asides than they are actual explorations of problems you don't agree I mean, with me at all That's i don't I don't agree with you at all <laughs> It's so funny when, like, when you hear somebody say something and you're like, "These are the opposite feelings that I have." <laughs> How have we read the same thing and come to this? But could um, I also really like right. book conversations like that. It could also be the the actual audiobook could be ruining it. But I had that for free, so I wasn't going to go hunting down. I I actually did the audiobook uh, as well because it was my only option. Yeah. Um, besides waiting. A million years for a physical copy from the library. I keep uh, forgetting to on it. Pod. So I have to eject. Pod is the oh, one I'm not interested in. Oh gosh, in. I hope Pod. Pod is in the mail today actually for my Wait, library. Wait, what's Pod? It's, it's the one that's read by a dolphin. <laughs> it's narrated by a dolphin. It's narrated by a dolphin. Oh. <laughs> the dolphin the decides to leave the, the Pod. Price. Yeah. Even though the chicken the, book isn't on the international. A, but. Yeah. I've never heard of this person before. Did she not write a book before about like bees about, or squirrels the bees. or something? Yeah. Bees. She seems to be her and shit. It wasn't called Hive? It was called Ugh. The Bees. It would have been so bees. better. So much better if it was Hive and then she wrote Pod. Pond. And then her next one was like, like murder. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a thriller, but it's just narrated it's just by about a crow. crows. It's just a crow <laughs> flying around. <laughs> Living his crow life. <laughs> I do love. I hope you like the rabbit hatch, though. I really liked that one. Um, I'm not thrilled about it because I feel like I've turned too many mixed things, but mm. we'll see. It won the National Book Award last year, and nothing else. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Get There's off always my the lawn. <laughs> oh God. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm never drawn to the woman's prize. But like, There's a lot of. It, I just kind of decided wide. to go for it this year, and so it's far, I'm actually books. having a lovely it's time. Too many <laughs> weird books, but I am like, there, there are a few that I was interested in. Like Stoneblind was just already on my red, like mm. on red radar, and I, I don't, I don't think of that as being a prize book. They just love mythology. It's, it's, and, that, and it kills me because I really don't, especially Greek mythology. Like I'm so over Greek mythology books. It is I overdone. I don't want it anymore. And every long list, they're like, yeah, let's do this again. Has Madeline Miller yeah. written, written something new? She's on the list. Yeah. Please don't. Song of Achilles was fine. I don't understand. <laughs> I, crazy, I don't understand why everyone was crying, but it, it was fine. It was all right. <laughs> My, my mate crying, wants me to but... read Song of Achilles. My mate was she like, crying? Is is she like, this is amazing. Yeah, no, she was like, you really need to read it. I was like, well, I don't know. She's like, no, no, no. You need to read it. Okay, so. let's do that well, instead of uh, well, Colin Hoover. Sure. I may be dead inside, so that could be part of it. I may only respond to like actual like trauma porn. It might be the only thing I respond to. So, like a little life. <laughs> I mean, didn't yes. everybody overlook Black? Please stop <laughs> rubbing salt into Owen's wound. Okay. <laughs> what prize are you going to follow? I, I mean, I do kind of, I, 
Not that I begrudge the women's prize, but they did make me pick up Piranesi, and, and pretty much every week, someone will tell me how absolutely wrong I am in my review when I'm not smart, and I always go like, "God, this stupid book needs to like leave me alone." I can't, I can't, I can't leave over it. I have had so many people tell me to read Piranesi, and now I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. <laughs> Hey, at least mine was on a, on a prize list. <laughs> Shot fire. <laughs> Which is hilarious because I honestly don't think it should have been. <laughs> but that's the Pure battle messy. I'm in now. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't need to. I, I don't know. Everybody tells me to read it. Do you know how many people are like, you would love this book? And I'm like, but like, would I? I don't know. I think. Don't do your job. That's stupid. <laughs> it's very open. Like, it's very open to interpretation. I'm not like arguing against that in regards to Piranesi, but I think people think that like, they've like somehow like unlocked the key. It's like she's not like. I I, I don't. I like... I didn't think it was like that. Like wow, I can't believe this happened. I don't like when people take what is ostensibly commercial fiction, which there's nothing wrong with commercial fiction, but and try to make it this like really deep and meaningful thing. And it's just I don't know if it is. I don't think it's commercial. Exist. It feels commercial, though. No. It's everywhere. I think you're... Or maybe it's become commercial because that there has been it. some really rave reviews about it. A lot of people will get a lot out of it. And I think if this... I think if it was going to be, like, a book, I don't like it. But if my mate was going to be, like, I'm only going to read one book a year, I want something that's, like, pretty enjoyable. Like, I could follow it straight forward a little bit deep i'd probably put piranesi in their hands mm. so Adam, it's like, like a crowd pleaser for people who so Adam, is, let's read it and it's, discuss it's i like never understand the winners of women's prize honestly i made one review of one of their books last year and i said i don't think this will win and then it won <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i liked the book like i still what, I, I really like it was that number uh, the Book of Form and Emptiness. Oh, I like the Book of Form and Emptiness. I really like it, but reading it, I was like, I don't think this is a, an award winner, though. Like, I really like it win, yeah. it's a it's a good book, but <laughs> and then sure enough, like right after, <laughs> like, I guess you won. <laughs> Can we all place our bets for what we think is going to win International Booker? After uh, now, when we haven't read anything, yeah. okay. Yes. Okay, take take a second, everyone. <laughs> think deeply. I'm gonna I'm gonna say, time shelter. I hate you because I want to say that one too. I want it to be time shelter because that's the one I'm the most excited about. Read actually, it's like the only one. Okay, no, no. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for the one that I don't think is gonna win. Well, that's normally how it works. <laughs> I say pyre. I think pyre. I feel like that that could be it. I think Time Shelter, it sounds like the most, I don't know. I'm going to go ninth building. I feel like the most weird one on, like, but usually International has more weird, and the most weird one doesn't win, but it's a, a weirdish one usually wins, and I feel like it's the only weirdish one. <laughs> Oh. I feel like Time Shelter is one of those things that's going to touch on the human experience in a more broad way, like things that everybody's going to connect to, and that's the thing that's going to get their votes. But I don't know if that's really how they seem to... Yeah, yeah for international, I don't think... They don't care about broad strokes of humanity. They they like to like... <laughs> All right, so then whale. It's going to be whale. <laughs> I'm going to say ninth building. I think pyre. I think Pyre. Pyre's a shame. He's controversial. So I think if he wins, I think that will be a plus. I think it will be a, it will be really big for the subcontinent once again in the wake of Tomb of Sand and also because it's um, it's not a Hindi speaking novel. Yeah, Tamil. That, like, that's with, um, big. Malia Mader as well. Yes. Yeah. Ta well, set in Sri Lanka. Uh, is he? Is he? Oh, he's Tamil. Yeah, Tam he's on Sri Lanka. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's because well, because they speak Tamil in Sri Lanka. That's what I was going for. Ignore me. Um, I don't. But I think I yeah, got no ninth ninth building because the Chinese. Well, if the Chinese government listening, gotta be careful here. Hi, China. We're and not the same man, guys. <laughs> and the same man. Hello. Uh, We're lady. The, it could be an the Chinese government 
would be proud to have their book represented on an international stage. But I feel like go. so would Ukraine. I think like if anything, really it will get shortlisted. Oh, you're you're tired of the panda? Wasn't that what they call him? Something panda? Uh, uh, for legal reasons, <laughs> I'm not saying it, the Xi Jinping looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> but there have been references of Xi Jinping looking like, like a panda. Winnie the Pooh. But I, I'm not saying that he does. I don't know. Yeah, I, I should say, to be fair, the synopsis is the most weird I would say of them, but yeah, I'm. That's the one, one I'm currently I'm reading, building. and so far it is not weird. I'm gonna go ninth building. I'll be interested to see it, the Chinese winner. I'll try. The, all right, fine. Here, call him Pooh. I just made him a panda. I don't know. <laughs> I think that seems like the one that most people are going for. So I guess that makes sense then that it won't win. <laughs> yeah, but everyone, everyone said about two percent winning, and then it won. Mm -hmm. But did they say it from the beginning? Yes, clarified. Yes, I know Winnie the Pooh is not a panda. Yeah. I'm fully aware. I don't think they were saying it in the beginning, were they? But I mean, I forgot things. Yeah, I think too much because everyone tried to get their hands on it and uh, no one could. So it was almost a little bit of like, oh, this is like the employees. The employees would probably win it. And then it didn't. I feel like that's how they felt <laughs> about Books of Jacob, though, because we couldn't get Books of Jacob for a little bit. Yeah, but the Books of Jacob, she'd won it before. And, mm -hmm. and she had just won the Nobel Laureate within that Which time. is also the other uh, booker. I and also like... Life. In your video? The alternative the... booker. Oh, no, that was... Yeah, um, <laughs> oh, the, yeah the alternative Nobel, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. What was that, that for? Was, yeah. I which, that was the Maurice Condi? Maurice Condi? I don't know. The, the, the gospel, <laughs> right? The gospel according to the new earth or something like that. So New world, I think. Yeah, so standing I think I think books of Jakob. I think when you have a Nobel laureate standing there with the same translator who was one with flights in two thousand eighteen, two thousand seventeen. Sorry. Um, I'm still shocked, Owen, that um, our share of night isn't on there. I'm really upset that Call Me Cassandra <laughs> wasn't on there. Like it was literally a shoe in. Owen sanctified it. Goodreads did as well. I do apologize. I'm going to have to, at the breaking news, we have to ask me a question. I'm going to have to go. So it's been lovely to see you all. Any books I was expected on long list? The Chicken Book. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yes. Daddy, my sure everyone. We... That's our plaque book of the year, The Chicken Book. Yeah. Bye, Bye Carla. Thank you. And now it's like too up close and personal. Oh, has it made it? Three, oh, like I'm gone now. Oh, there wow. we go. Here, hello. <laughs> hello. Um, I was expecting to see this this bad boy. Yep. I'm shocked yeah. that's on there. Honestly. So I'm just gonna return this to the library without reading it. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have time to read a big book. <laughs> well, I do really want to read it, but I I know I want to read it. Off, so now it's always it. sad to like return a book to the library that you really want to read, but you just don't have mm. time for right now. I also thought Fossa Fossi was going to make it. He did not. Two Sherpas. Which one was that? I'm trying to remember what else. I Is that Charco? Is Two Sherpas Charco for us? Yeah. A British climber has fallen from a cliffside in Nepal and lives in or on a ledge below. We're talking like. Charco, I think, wasn't Salt Crystal on a lot of people's lists, too? Oh, the Pachinko Parlor, I expected to see. Yeah, that was on a lot of lists. Mm -hmm. I think Scattered that All one. Over the Earth was on a lot of lists. That's what makes it so funny, is that I feel like all the, there, there's so many people endeavor to read so many potential IV books, and it's like <laughs> getting the odds yeah, right. No idea. There's too many books. <laughs> I don't know how I got so lucky last year. Because I happened to read three books beforehand. I was like, I'm going to get ahead of things. And I picked up like four total. I read three and I DNF'd one. I was like, if it's on the list, I'll read it. And the three that I fully read were all on the list. 
Like, and now, and I think that I thought that that was like a possibility of like something like that happening again. And this year I was like, I don't know what any of these are. So I, I feel like I've just messed my, my own brain up (laughs) with. I was actually surprised that I even read one of them because I did not expect to see Boulder there. So that was a shock. I think also Boulder, like I didn't realize that it was it's part of a like triptych situation. So I'd seen the cover of Permafrost in the bookstores. And like in my head, I've like had convoluted the two and just thought they were the same thing. And honestly, I'm surprised they didn't give a nod to Greek lessons, but I'm also not surprised because I just don't think that was that good. I didn't read that one. I don't think it's yeah. out yet. I don't think it's out in April, like just before the prize cut off. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Scattered all over the earth. Yeah, that was on the um, National Book Prize, the translated National Book Prize last year. Hmm. I haven't heard of that one. Sonia's right. It's good to be. You might recognize the cover. I feel like it's very Instagrammable. <laughs> so I've seen it on a lot of people's Instagrams. <laughs> yeah, Who's good point. Flight path? Which one of you had a fl- an, an airplane go over? Uh, that was me, probably. <laughs> I'm like kind of cl- a little close to the airport. <laughs> oh, the scattered all over Earth. Hope that makes. Yeah. Oh, this book. But I heard it was bad wanted to read it and then i think it's i i've people were i've not, seen very like mixed that. reviews about it yeah Straight that's another one that i got from the library and just didn't going to be mad because somebody in this chat is happy that Strega didn't get on <laughs> i didn't think Strega would make it it just didn't feel didn't feel like it was enough i did think that a, a lolly editions book was going to make it yeah, I was when they did out because uh, I, Elena knows was Lolly, mm-hmm. right? No, that's Charco. No, Charco? Mm-hmm. Um, it was after the sun was Lolly, and then the employees the year before. Oh, yeah, the employees. Oh, you did like the employees. I, I really, really liked the employees. Them. Yeah, I thought that one was good. I think I still have it actually. It just surprised me because it felt like. I was see, that's what I want to see. I'm like, why am I reading book this book thing? Too. Like, but I gotta keep reading this thing because you keep drip feeding me information. I need mm-hmm. to get it. That's what I want to see at International Booker. I feel like maybe these books will surprise me, and I just don't know yet. <laughs> but so far, they seem very yeah. meh. Anyway. That's a I'm- subpar note. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> On a positive note, there's no third books in a series. <laughs> yeah, and it's been a while since we've been able to say that. <laughs> That's a good point. It's very weird. There's nothing from Charco or Tilted Access, in my opinion. Well, I think Tilted, they just had that for the first time last year, right? Well, that's it is newer, I think. So yeah, that makes sense. It's still weird to me. Uh, oh, we have a 2024 prediction. Break water. What the hell's that? Who's that by Tony? I just need that to stick in my head until next year. It Take won't. some notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose them. I, I lost my own um, prediction list before. Right now, if I put in break water by, it gives me Sherwin Williams. So that must be a call, a color. Uh, Catherine- oh, I got Catherine Jones pain. It is also a, a paint color. I got Aaron Stevens. I don't think this is right. Oh, Catriona. No, that was 2020. And this is like an indie pub um, mermaid something, really. <laughs> I mean, that would be quite... Uh, I mean, I'm here for it. <laughs> I That's what I want think, to see. I don't think that it's international booker. Let's see only indie published books. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, are there only self-published awards? books. <laughs> are there indie awards? There must oh, I'm be. sure. Be, right? There has to be. <laughs> but in some regards, there's just so many awards that like every day I'm finding out about a new one. I know. There's so many like posts. It's like this long list just got announced. And I was like, wait, <laughs> what? Guys? I've never heard of that. Oh, it's out in April. 
And it's out in April in the UK or here? Okay, I'm gonna look into that book later. I have a book. Okay, we've made our predictions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, ladies? No, I think that's all I've got. I'm gonna play with this dog. <laughs> oh, okay. So maybe maybe Breakwater might not be eligible, but we should all check it out. And this was a lot of fun, guys. I am sorry we didn't get to every single comment this time around. With four people, it was hard <laughs> to stay up to date with everything, but this is great. Thank you. And we'll see you in our next videos and the Plaque Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.